hi guys in previous video we have learned hooks so in here we're gonna start learning some new concepts called ref con and context or higher other components now in here what is ref so basically ref is a way or it provides a way to access a dom or a react component that is being rendered inside a any component right so we're gonna see what is ref now why we need ref basically right so in a normal flow what happens that you can pass a props to your child component and can re-render your child component right now what happens that maybe at some cases you don't have to pass a prop right you don't have to pass a prop there's no way you can pass a prop so this ref comes into picture such that it can access a dom node such as this div this is a dom node or maybe it can access a react component that, such as app component and uh, change its functionality as you want to now let's begin with that we're gonna first look into a class component and we're gonna move to this class component to this functional component and see how can we achieve the same thing but using some other tools now let's see first we are going to use a class component so i'm going to convert this class component or class app and I'm going to use extends keyword and using this react dot component so that we can we can use um, like lifecycle methods state props right now in here i'm going to use this constructor and also using this super keyword so that we have anything that and uh, that there has been in the react components class now in here what we are going to do we are going to create one this keyword using this keyword and we're going to create an instance or a property for this app let's say its name is focus focus input okay now in here why we have created this right so basically this uh, create ref oh sorry this ref that we are gonna see have this create ref tool so that we can create a ref and assign its value to this this instance of this app component now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use this uh, sorry render keyword render method and render method inside it i'm going to use this return and first of all uh, what i'm gonna do i'm just going to use this div and also going to use this div like closing it now i'm going to use a uh, input component that I, that I haven't created so let's create with that so i have created these components now in here i'm going to create a new file and its name is input.js now i'm just going to close it now what i'm going to do i'm going to going to use import react from react and also going to use uh, sorry class class input extends react dot component and in here i'm going to use a constructor again and going to use this props as i have said that this ref can access the dom and a react components so i'm going to first see for this uh dom no that's why so in here what i'm going to use i'm going to use again this super keyword such that we can use this keyword in here now i'm going to use this dot input ref and again i'm going to use this react dot create ref so basically in for like initial stay its uh, actual value is null 
okay and when it unmounted or get yeah, unmounted then again its value going to change to null now in here i'm going to render so in a normal flow what you will see that if i create one div and again i'm going to use an input tag and just closing it like this and just going to use a button and just say it is a click me and just closing it and also you have to export this file right so just exporting this file export default export default input and we are going to use it oh sorry i haven't used this return give return right so let's use it and just copying and pasting it here yeah it looks good now what i'm going to use we have our imported it right so let's see that we can import it here yeah we have imported it and in here you will see that we got this Mm. is there some error in here yeah we got this input now what happens that if you just uh, refresh it again you will see that the focus is not here and if you just type in something you will not get into the here like anything that you want to type you will not get in here so first of all what you have to do is first click on it here and then you can type it right so this is a rare like this is a case in where you can use this ref right so what we can do in here one thing you can do or there are many ways to do it of course so if you use this handle click okay if you use this handle click what you can do you cannot use this handle click you have to use this dot handle click because you are using this class now in here you can use this handle click function and what you can do next is input ref but where you want to use this ref right so you have you have a props in here that's called ref and inside this ref you can pass this this dot input ref now what you can do in here how can you access this node right how can you access this input tag so what you can do you can just type in current and now you can use any dom element properties that this input tag has okay now if you just click on this click me you will see that we got this a uh, focus right now this is a one way okay so this is the way that you can use to focus on an input element there are many things that you can do in here also like uh, you can use this select keyword so what happens when you use this select keyword what happens the focus will not work but if you use this and you again just use click me you will get all the values all the values that has been inserted in here as a select and just you can copy and paste it very easily now what i'm going to see next that you have used this uh, handle change right on change method right for this input tag you can also use it using this ref so how can we use it so what we can do that uh, just type in here value okay and you can just console it okay just console it here and you will see the value in here okay so for this i'm just going to open this console in here first of all okay so now let's type in hi hello now just click on click me 
you will see that we got this high hello value we haven't used anything we haven't used on change method we haven't created an any state just we have used this ref keyword ref concept in here and you got this value so looking into it you can learn that you can use this ref as a way to access a dom node okay you have just clearly seen that you can use uh, this ref for accessing a dom node using this current and any value or sorry any dom attributes that this input tag or any tag has you can use it so yeah so first thing that we have learned in here how can we use this uh, ref for a dom node in the next lesson we're gonna see how can we use this ref for a component such as this input tag sorry such as this input component so yeah uh, let's say in the next video.